Okay, well, we're about to tackle a 12-part series. I am really going to waste your time on all of these. I mean, each video is going to be 10 to 20 minutes. You're looking, if you go through the whole thing, you've got, you know, a couple hours worth of your time I've taken away from you. So I apologize for that. But let's give you an idea about what the heck this is going to be about. So look, it may end up being more than 12. Typically when I do these, I, I, I get a bit long on some of them, so I break them up into parts A and B. So this may change as you see this, but each video, we're gonna show you where you are in this, so you'll know which video that you're looking at. So let's just kind of quickly go over what I plan on talking about. So the first one's gonna be, let me just get my notes in front of me because that way I'll kind of get in a bit more detail for you. So the first one's gonna be, you know, do I want to breed my dog? Getting planned ahead of time of what your intentions are, knowing what the end game is going to be to make sure that you are going to go down this path in the correct manner. Nothing like good planning. Should your dog be bred? What kind of dog should you breed to? Those kind of questions. Second one is the physical mating itself. It might be a natural connection, it might be an artificial insemination, it might be a transcervical insemination, it might be a surgical insemination. So we're gonna talk about that whole process and about um, uh, how you go about getting set up for that. Number three, the pregnancy. Your dog is pregnant, or you hope your dog is pregnant, and what do you expect to see behavior-wise? How will she, her behavior change? Do we need to give her special medications? How do we test to find out whether she's pregnant and be prepared for some of the problems that can occur during the actual pregnancy itself? Number four is the whelp. You may be having an actual whelp. You may be going to a veterinarian to have a C-section. Uh, you may be doing a combination of those two things. You've got to think about how you're going to time C-sections, what vet you're going to choose. That's all on the, is the whelp. Birth, what can you expect for the birth? What do you expect to happen if you're having a natural uh, birth? What you can expect to happen if you go to the vet? How long is it gonna take? When will you get your puppies back? What should you ask the vet about the actual surgery? That's gonna be birth. Number six, the first 24, 48 hours. Critical time here. This is the time that absolutely you've gotta get on top of your game to make sure that you've got a good start. A bad start gets bad results, a good start a great, a good start, and checking things can make sure that if there are problems that are maybe looming that you're aware of them so you can tackle those things ahead of time. Um, puppy care. So now you've got puppies, there's some things that you need to do for your puppies. There's things that, uh, you know, things like wormings and uh, shots, um, uh, parasites, um, ears not going, falling down, flat chest, not walking properly, head tilts. We're gonna talk about that. Mum issues. Um, there can be problems that mum can, can have. Um, not accepting puppies, um, mastitis with hard and swollen boobs, eclampsia, which is a lack of calcium, uh, stitches that have become infected, dogs that don't want to accept their babies. All of these things we're gonna discuss in mummy issues. Puppy health. Now we're gonna talk about problems with puppies. Things that, uh, that um, uh, I hope that's the puppy health one. Let's just have a look here. Um, puppy health, puppy health, puppy health, puppy health, puppy health. Yes, puppy health is going to be, um, yeah, things that you need to do, things you need to be aware of, things that you should do on a daily basis for puppies. Weaning puppies. Okay, so now it's time to take mum and puppies apart, let them get off mum's milk, get onto solid food. How do we go about that? What's the environment we set up? What are the things that we need to watch for? Are there some particular re requirements of particular puppies that are having some problems? That's all gonna be in number 10 weaning. Number 11 is gonna be the end game. You've got puppies now, they are eight, 10, 12 weeks old, and it's time for them to either stay with you and how would you select which puppy you're gonna keep, or you're gonna give puppies away, or you're gonna sell puppies, and you've gotta go find prospective families that will be a good fit for your dogs finding homes and then at the end of it are you going to do this again let's evaluate how this went was it a good result did you have nice puppies did you have problems with mum was mum's health in, in suspect should we breed again when will we expect her to come back in heat 
all of that's going to be in number uh, number 12. So there it is in a nutshell. There's your 12 separate videos that I'm going to do. I'm planning on doing about one a day. So over the next couple of weeks, you should see all of these fall out. And the plan is to do them in the order that you see here. This will stay up here on each video. I'll put a tick mark as I come to each one. You might find that there's all, all of a sudden a part A and a part B because I need to expand it. But uh, we'll see how that comes out. Okay, thanks. Hey, thanks for watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye.